I'm really upset because I suck at Roblox in any video game I play. So, I'm here to read my little Yelp reviews. Basically, I started a Yelp account so I could destroy and dismantle this restaurant I went to because they suck. And I slowly started turning it into an actual thing I do whenever I eat somewhere. So, let's read. One star out of five. The simplest dishes take more than half an hour to do even when it's almost no one there. And it's detrimental when you need to be somewhere. Just got my food in the middle of typing this, so here's an in-depth response analysis of what is being expe experienced. The cheese in the food isn't asadero. It's the same bricked white cheese sold at Walmart. Waiting time is excessive. Hearing people off in a distance asking to have their drinks changed after they noticed it wasn't the exact thing they ordered. Ended up reading a review from this year in which a child had a piece of metal in his food and it made the food we ate feel worse. This place is a certified L. My review is a W. Haha. Haha. Ha, ha, ha. That's my first review ever on a restaurant. Burger King, all right. Um, one star again, all right. All the employees are, all the employees here bad mouth the customers, leave whole food items missing from orders, have an attitude, and can't do their job correctly. I myself am questioning how this restaurant is still standing after being bombarded with several one star reviews. This should either be closed down or fire everyone inside and seek new management. Thanks for reminding me why we don't go here and for consistently taking first place by a landslide as the worst spot in town. It really devalues this town and tourist experience when they come down and it kills the tourism as well as this will be sent to multiple people. I lied right there about sending this to multiple people because I actually only wrote that to see if any real change happens and I guess some happen but I'm not sure I I don't really go out there oh my god yeah um, three stars out of five and there's a goat pussy right um the customer service here is rather loose and strewn out over strewn strewn all over it takes 40 minutes just to be given our drinks, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt since it's around 8 p.m. and everyone's tired after a long big day. I agree. The food was pretty average and it's also a bit overpriced with good reason. The food is really big, but I don't see as to why to serve food in large proportions if the taste isn't large itself. An infant was given a large fish to eat and in my opinion it's just a waste of food, power and money for the restaurant crew and customers both. Also, the constant image of goat balls in my face 24-7 doesn't make it any better. Goats with anatomical vaginas and testicles are literally painted on the walls and is a big threat to the eyes of children who don't understand. Yeah, legitimately there was goat pussy on the walls. So, the food here is wonderful, high quality, the lemonade was great, it was just lemon and water with not much sugar, the way I enjoy it. Sugar is too prominent in foods in America now, so it's great seeing it not appear in its drink. Exactly. Too much sugar and everything, too many preservatives that do things to your body you know, long-term side effects. The reason this isn't a full 10 out of 10 star destination isn't because of the food. It isn't due to the weight for the food, but rather the scenery. Now, don't get me wrong, the place looks great, but one thing is hindering that greatness, and it's the godforsaken doo doo crust music blaring through your eardrums as you wait or while you eat food. I was biting to my lovely burger and heard a moan halfway through the Spanish track. It felt so weird, and besides all the hootin' nanny, it was lovely, thanks. I've never used the word hootin' nanny in my life, but it just felt really, really, it just felt really right to use it in this sense because it had like this reggaeton music, and it's not really good. <laughs> Such a small, humble restaurant. The specials are great. The rest of the menu is mouth-watering goodness. I usually have something bad to say about every restaurant or food spot I go to, but this one just beats all expectations. I can say they maybe put a little too much hash browns on your plate when you order anything with it as a side, but why even complain? 
Why even complain? Legendary breakfast is concocted here with the same meticulous methods as any restaurant that cares about the customer satisfaction. Only difference is that it's better. Listen up! This was great. The burger is lovely. Tasted like real burger should taste like... Oh yeah, <laughs> the real meaty. I ordered a blue cheese burger. It went really well, exactly what I wanted. The cheese, of course, smelled kind of like a dirty sock, but the smell had nothing to do with the burger, of course. That's just the way cheese is. Cheese just smells bad a lot. So, the ice cream machine wasn't broken. Oh yeah. Lovely soft vanilla was mounted onto our cones. It felt sort of heavy in my hand, like a small handgun sort of weight. It was about the size of a three-week-old infant's head. I've been making out with my comb for the past six minutes. It's enough for me, boss man. Yeah, those are all my reviews since November of 2021. So yeah, that's all. Bye.